Hi, my name is Kylie Zellheiger, and for my third um, presentation, I chose to talk about the Norman Brinker and Brinker Internationals case study. I chose to talk about this case study because after reading over them, this one just kind of stuck with me, and since like in the very first paragraph, it started talking about restaurant industry, which at first I was like, oh, okay, I could personally relate to this. Um, my family has been in the restaurant industry for my whole life, and my dad starting all of his restaurants and companies and working his way up, I kind of found it a little bit relatable to Norman Brinker. Um, not nearly as worldwide as him, but still it was pretty neat that I could somewhat relate to this case study. I really enjoyed reading this case study, um, how he grew his company and how he had to like pass it down to different people. I thought it was really interesting and he still could hold like a say in what was going on. So I thought that was kind of pretty cool. So in my video now, I'm going to talk about the four questions that we were assigned with this case study and just my thoughts on them and like kind of relating them to my life a little bit if I can. So for the first question, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it was, in what ways is Norman Brinker a manager and also what ways is he a leader? So after reading this, I kind of thought personally that this case study um, showed Norman Brinker as more of a leader than as a manager. Of course, he started a company and like with that managing the businesses, like managing all the budget, staff. Clearly, he has that managing trait in him. But I just personally saw, like, saw more tra leadership traits than I did for managing. So just a couple of leadership traits that I noticed from this case study is that um, two examples is Brinker believes in winners attract winners. I kind of thought that was a little leadership right there. And then also another one is Brinker is driven by integrity, teamwork, passion, and an unwavering commitment to make sure each and every guest has an enjoyable dining experience. So those are just two quotes that I really noticed from this <clears throat> case study that I thought, wow, those that's something a leader would say. For the second question, it is what kind of fellowship does Norman Brinker sought to develop at Brinker International? And at first I was like, well, I don't know exactly what he wants. But then after thinking it a little bit, I thought that his main goal was to develop a business composed of effective followers. So just people who were wanting the same thing as him. And that's kind of what I thought he was wanting for this company. So some examples from the text that I kind of picked up on this is that um, <clears throat> they say that they practice self-management and self-responsibility. Another one is committed to the organization along with the principle and purpose of others. And then also another one is they are credible, courageous, and honest. And these are all things that are said by Norman Brinker about the employees and people that are working. And I think that just goes to show like, these are the people that he's running in his company. These are the traits that he's looking for in his workers. So that's why I kind of thought that he was trying to saw out a fellowship of business composed and effective followers. So people who are willing to get work done and willing to try their very best. And that's that's kind of how I got that outlook on what kind of fellowship he was like trying to get for his company. Uh, question three. <clears throat> What skills would you need to develop to become a leader like a Norman Brinker? Um, first off, I think that from what I've been told, that restaurant business is probably the hardest business to get into. The failure rate I looked up was 35% of restaurants in their first year of being open fail, which is very scary if you're a first time restaurant opener. I'm pretty sure like kind of ease you from not wanting to do that so I think to be a leader in this specific field it takes a lot of creativity and innovation you need to see things in different ways kind of how Brinker did when he was like starting up these companies and like knowing what people would be interested in what people were going to be paying for at restaurants um, I believe you need to set goals and you need to develop strong work ethic, work ethics and work cultures and as a leader that I already said that Norman Brinker is like being that leader is you developing that work culture that 
all of your workers are following and all of your employees are willing to do to keep that business flowing properly. I also think that you need to develop better team building skills if you want to become a leader like Norman Brinker. Clearly, Norman Brinker knows what he's doing when work, getting a company to work together. As he started out with one restaurant and then branched it out to tons that are not just restaurants locally owned, but all over the world. So I think that kind of is a really important leadership trait that you need if you want to be a leader just like Norman Brinker was. And the last question that I have is, what was the most important leadership lesson in this case? I wasn't really for sure how to answer this one at first, just because I thought that there were a lot of really important leadership um, lessons. And then it kind of took me back to what we learned about in class when we discussed leadership and some of those traits that my classmates had said and some that I picked up in the story. I just wasn't really for sure. So I thought that... Um, one, personally, what I think the greatest leadership trait from this case study is being persistent. Um, like I said earlier, restaurant business is not easy, and I think that Norman Brink had to be very persistent and not back down. I mean, he knew what he wanted, and I think that when challenges came to him, he took them head on, and I think that was really important and a really big leadership trait that I noticed as a lesson in this case study. So overall, I found this case study to be very interesting and really helpful. I think it was really neat hearing about these corporations that I've heard of and ate dinner or lunch at before. So I thought it was really cool hearing about Brinker International and that it came from just one single man starting off his own career in the restaurant business. Thank you.